For most of human history, summer meant one thing, discomfort. From ancient Egyptians fanning themselves with palm fronds to medieval Europeans hanging damp cloths, humanity has always battled the heat. But these were temporary fixes, mere whispers against the roaring furnace of summer. As the 19th century dawned, with industrialization picking up pace, the problem of heat wasn't just uncomfortable, it was costing money. Our story truly begins in 1902, not with a quest for comfort, but with a printing company in Brooklyn, New York. High humidity was causing their paper to wrinkle and their ink to smudge, ruining their vibrant color prints. Willis Carrier, an engineer contracted to solve this problem, wasn't just thinking about cooling the air. He was focused on controlling humidity. He realized that by passing air over chilled coils, he could condense the moisture out of the air, thereby controlling the humidity and the temperature. Carrier's first apparatus for treating air wasn't for people, but for paper. However, soon after, forward-thinking businesses saw the potential. Movie theaters, department stores, and even some public buildings became cool oases, drawing in crowds and changing social habits. It took a few more decades for air conditioning to become truly affordable and compact enough for widespread home use, really taking off after World War II. So, the next time you step into a refreshingly cool room on a scorching day, spare a thought for Willis Carrier, the man who didn't just invent cooling, but fundamentally changed how we live, work and thrive in any climate.